Welcome to our Isla Mujeres vlog, where we're about to embark on an unforgettable journey to one of Mexico's most stunning islands, renowned for its pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, and vibrant local culture. From exploring the enchanting streets of El Centro to diving into the underwater wonders of the Musa Museum, we'll take you on a tour of everything this island paradise has to offer. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any of the adventure, tips, and hidden gems we're about to discover together in Isla Mujeres. Isla Mujeres is a captivating island located in the Caribbean Sea, just a short distance off the coast of Cancun, Mexico. Known for its stunning white sandy beaches, crystal clear turquoise waters, and laid-back atmosphere, the island offers a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of mainland tourist spots. It is rich in history, with ancient Mayan ruins and a diverse marine ecosystem, making it a popular destination for both cultural exploration and water activities like snorkeling and scuba diving. The island's small size, vibrant local community, and scenic beauty combine to create a unique and inviting destination for travelers seeking relaxation and adventure alike. Getting to Isla Mujeres is straightforward and involves a short ferry ride from Cancun. The most common departure points are the Gran Puerto Cancun, Ultramar Ferry, and the Puerto Dure Terminal, with ferries running frequently throughout the day. The journey takes about 15 to 20 minutes and offers stunning views of the Caribbean Sea. For those arriving at Cancun International Airport, transfer services are available to take you directly to the ferry terminals, providing a seamless connection to Isla Mujeres for international visitors. Traveling around Isla Mujeres is an easy and enjoyable experience, thanks to the island's compact size. The most popular modes of transportation are golf carts and scooters, which can be rented by the hour or day, providing a fun way to explore every corner of the island at your own pace. Bicycles are another eco-friendly option, ideal for those who prefer a more leisurely pace. Taxis are readily available and reasonably priced for quick trips or when carrying beach gear. Walking is also a pleasant option, especially in the downtown area, where distances between attractions are short. Isla Mujeres boasts a variety of must-see attractions that cater to diverse interests. Playa Norte is renowned for its breathtaking beauty, with clear, shallow waters and soft, white sands, making it perfect for swimming and sunbathing. The Musa, underwater museum of art, offers an extraordinary snorkeling and diving experience, with over 500 submerged sculptures creating a fascinating artificial reef. History enthusiasts will appreciate the ancient Mayan temple at Pantasur, which offers panoramic views of the sea. The Torchagrania, Turtle Farm, is a conservation center where visitors can learn about and interact with sea turtles. Additionally, the colorful streets of downtown Isla Mujeres are filled with charming shops, delicious local cuisine, and vibrant murals, reflecting the island's rich culture and community spirit. In Isla Mujeres, embarking on a boat tour offers an unparalleled opportunity to explore the stunning coastline, Driving around the island on a rented golf cart is a popular way to discover its hidden gems, from secluded beaches to charming local neighborhoods, all at your own pace. The island's beaches, such as Playa Norte, are idyllic spots for relaxation, sunbathing, and enjoying water activities in the warm Caribbean Sea. Shopping in Isla Mujeres is a delightful experience, where visitors can stroll through bustling markets and boutique shops to find unique handicrafts, souvenirs, and handmade jewelry. Lastly, tasting local foods is a must, as the island offers a variety of delicious Mexican and seafood dishes. The best time to visit Isla Mujeres is during the dry season from November to April, when the weather is sunny and mild, making it perfect for beach activities and exploring the island. This period avoids the rainy season, which runs from May to October, and can bring occasional storms and heavy rains, although the island is beautiful during these months as well, with fewer tourists. The peak tourist season coincides with winter in North America, especially around Christmas, New Year's, and Easter, when the island is busiest. For those looking to avoid crowds, late April, May, and early November offer a good balance of pleasant weather and fewer visitors. It's also a great time for those interested in marine life, as whale shark tours are popular in the summer months, from June to August. Hotel and food prices in Isla Mujeres vary widely depending on the season, location, and level of luxury. 
Budget accommodations and local eateries can be found at relatively low costs, offering travelers affordable options. Madrange hotels and restaurants offer good value, with prices increasing for beachfront properties and finer dining experiences. During peak travel seasons, prices for both hotels and food tend to rise due to higher demand. Overall, Isla Mujeres offers a range of options to fit various budgets, from backpackers to luxury travelers, with average hotel prices ranging from budget-friendly to premium rates for luxury resorts. When it comes to what to eat in Isla Mujeres, the island's cuisine is a delightful mix of Mexican and Caribbean influences. Fresh seafood is a must-try, with local specialties including ceviche, fish tacos, and grilled lobster. Tamales, a traditional Mesoamerican dish made of masa or dough, steamed in a corn husk or banana leaf, are also popular. For a unique local treat, try Tekinzich, a Mayan-style fish dish marinated in a chiot paste and sour orange, then grilled over an open flame. Street food vendors and local eateries offer delicious and authentic Mexican foods like tacos al pasta, quesadillas, and enchiladas, providing a taste of the island's rich culinary culture. What to buy in Isla Mujeres ranges from handmade crafts to unique local products. Artisanal jewelry, including pieces made from local materials like coral and seashells, make for beautiful souvenirs. Mexican textiles, such as hammocks, embroidered clothing, and blankets, showcase the country's rich textile traditions. Local art galleries and shops sell paintings and sculptures by local artists, capturing the island's beauty and culture. Souvenir shops offer a variety of items, from traditional Mayan handicrafts to contemporary Mexican design goods. Additionally, local markets are great places to find unique spices, hot sauces, and other culinary items that reflect the flavors of the region. In Isla Mujeres, there are accommodations to suit every preference and budget, from luxurious beachfront resorts to cozy, budget-friendly hostels. The northern end of the island, particularly around Playa Norte, is popular for its beautiful beaches and proximity to restaurants and bars, making it a great choice for those who wish to be close to the island's main attractions and nightlife. For a more tranquil and secluded experience, the southern part of the island offers quieter hotels and villas with stunning ocean views and a more laid-back atmosphere. Mid-island, visitors can find a range of boutique hotels and vacation rentals that offer a balance between accessibility and peacefulness. Additionally, the downtown area, El Centro, provides easy access to local shops, eateries, and the ferry terminal, ideal for travelers looking to immerse themselves in the local culture. Isla Mujeres is generally considered safe for tourists, with a low crime rate compared to other tourist destinations. As with any travel destination, it's important to exercise common sense, such as not leaving valuables unattended on the beach and being cautious when walking around at night. Local authorities and the tourism industry place a high priority on visitor safety, with measures in place to ensure a secure environment. It's advisable to stay informed about any travel advisories and local regulations, especially regarding water activities and transportation. Engaging with the community respectfully and following environmental guidelines also contributes to a safe and positive experience on the island. Isla Mujeres is definitely worth visiting for those seeking a blend of natural beauty, cultural richness, and relaxation. The island's stunning beaches, such as Playa Norte, are among the finest in the Caribbean, offering crystal clear waters and powdery white sand. Its small size allows for easy exploration, whether by golf cart, bike, or on foot, leading to hidden gems and scenic spots. The local cuisine, influenced by Mayan, Mexican, and Caribbean traditions, provides a delicious culinary adventure. Furthermore, the island's friendly atmosphere, unique attractions like the Musa Underwater Museum, and opportunities for snorkeling, diving, and interacting with marine life, make Isla Mujeres a compelling destination for travelers seeking an authentic and memorable experience. As we come to the end of our unforgettable journey through the enchanting Isla Mujeres, we're reminded of the beauty that lies in exploring new places and embracing different cultures. If you've enjoyed this adventure as much as we have, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more travels and tales from around the globe. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we can't wait to bring you along on our next adventure.